Hello there, glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as a Pokemon professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets, others use them for battling. As for my as for, uh, uh, as for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. But first, tell me a little bit about yourself. Now tell me, are you a boy or the girl? Uh, now I think both the boy and the girl character designs are fantastic in this game, uh, but I will be playing as the boy character. Let's begin with your name. So as you've probably seen, the channel name is Tyron Cannon, uh, but my name is Cooper and it's glad to meet you. Um, so we're putting that in as my name. Right, so your name is Coop. Yes. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were both babies. Uh, what's his name now? I'm gonna name him Gary. Is it Gary? Yep. That's right, I remember now. His name is Gary. Forgetful professor. Uh, Coop, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventure with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Now. This game, Pokemon Radical Red, if you didn't know, it's what is called a ROM hack, which is basically a game designed by the community, the Pokemon community, um, and they quite often involve, you know, high difficulty, different challenges compared to your normal Pokemon game, such as this, you know, this randomizes encounters, trainers and gifts, but not boss battles, this cannot be turned on or off, many legendaries cannot be encountered, do you want to set the randomizer option? I won't be using this option personally, but I know that a lot of people do like using this, um, but I'm not going to for, for reasons that you'll see later. Now we're still in our house, let's talk to mum, see what she has to say. Right, all boys leave home someday, it says so on TV. And yes, Professor Oak next door was looking for you. Oh, so wait, we got the running shoes already? Oh, sick. Oak. <laughs> <laughs> Oak didn't just randomly spout his name, uh, he said it's unsafe while Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know, here come with me. Now he's going to take us back to the lab and hopefully there'll be a couple of Pokemon waiting for us there. And there's uh, good old Gary. Uh, Gary's fed up with waiting. Hmm, let me think. That's right, I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Coop. There are three Pokemon here. Ha ha. There are Pokemon inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer, but now in my old age, I only have these three left. Oh, shame. Gramps. Uh, Gary, he's just, just a whinger, honestly. Uh, so, what are our options? We've got Bulbasaur here, very easy to raise. We've got Squirtle here, it's one that's worth raising, and I assume Charmander, who's the patient choice, but I will be choosing the easy choice, Bulbasaur, um, just because I've used the other two a bit more frequently over the years playing Pokemon. Um, so yeah, it's something different, I'm going to choose Bulbasaur, and I will be giving it a nickname. Um, now, I should mention also that this isn't, if you know what a Nuzlocke is, um, this isn't one of those. This is just a straight, bland playthrough of Pokemon Radical Red. Gary's going to take the Charmander. Now, excuse me for a second, I'm just going to have a sip of my tea. One thing that you'll soon learn about me is I drink a lot of tea, so be be prepared for those little breaks of me drinking tea while recording. Now Gary's going to challenge us here to a battle. Hopefully, we can get through this unscathed. Mm. Okay. Now what I will check quickly, this is basically the tutorial for Pokemon battling uh, in disguise. Uh, I wonder if it'll let me check it. Yes, it will. Okay. Okay. I don't need a tutorial on this professor. I just want to have a look at the summary, just for check for nature. It's got a lonely nature. Um, what does that do? Raises defense. Sorry, raises attack, lowers defense. 
that's okay, I can I can live with that. It'll be not super for this battle, but I can live with it long term. I'll just hold the speed up down. Um, so we can just get through this battle as quickly as we can. Charmander has been fainted. And we reach level 6. Gary is down. And we've got $80 in the pocket. Mm, excellent. If you win, you earn prize money and your Pokemon will grow. Battle other trainers and make your Pokemon strong. So Gary's off. I guess we should probably just follow him and see where he goes. Um, now, one thing that I don't know how to change is the basically the day-night cycle in this game. If anybody does know, um, sick. Um, if anybody does know, please let me know. Um, that way we can change it um, so it's you know aligned correctly. Now we've got a, a Lolan Radita here, which is strange that they're showing up in Kanto. Um, I just want to check to see if we actually have any Pokeballs at this stage. We don't, so we can't catch it. Um, let's just may, may as well try and knock it out. Get that extra experience. Okay, to 10 experience. It's not much. Now, in the original games, I believe this person gives you a potion. Um, yeah, he's going to give us a potion here. Cool. So, I assume that... Um, a lot of the knowledge that I have on this game is going to be based on the original Fire Red and Leaf Green, um, which this game is a ROM hack of. Um, so we're just going to really just see what what stuff I can remember from those games. We don't want to go to the Pokemon Center, we want to go to the Pokemart. Okay, you came from Pallet Town. You know Professor Oak, right? His auto just came in, can you take it to him? Ah, we work for Amazon, I see. That's a bad joke. So we've got Oak's Parcel, which we'll gladly bring back to our uh, professor for in exchange for us uh, in exchange for him giving us a Pokemon. Why is that so hard to say? Uh, we're gonna go back down here. Hop down a couple of ledges, hopefully get through the grass. And we're back in Pallet Town. Get through the door. Talk to the professor. He's pretty happy that we've taken his Pokemon off his hands. We've given him the parcel. This is getting pretty easy. Uh, has custom Pokeball order. Um, interesting. There's a lot of th fan theories out there if you know what I'm talking about. Um, on what the custom Pokeball is. Um, but I won't spoil it. If you are interested in that kind of thing, you probably already know about it. Um, now, what's uh, Professor? Okay, he's got a request for us. On the desk there is my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data uh, on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Coop and Gary, take these. F take these with you. Now, we've, re we've received the Pokedex. You can't get a detailed data on Pokemon just by seeing them. You must catch them to obtain complete data. So here are some tools for catching wild Pokemon. We've got five Pokeballs. So now we're going to be able to catch uh, some Pokemon, which is great. Okay, so he's too old. He's too old to battle. He's too old to catch Pokemon. He's too old to, you know, do anything. So he's relying on the youngsters to get the job done. And that's, uh, that's, that's me and Gary, that's basically our job in this entire game, is just to do Professor Oak's bidding, I guess. Um, now Gary did mention that, I did go over the text, um, he said to go visit his sister who will give us a town map. So good old Daisy, is that's her name, I'll uh, take that map off your hands, thank you very much. Okay, now, once we're out of the building, I will just quickly pop that map up. Where is it? Town map. So we've got here Pallet Town. This here is the Kanto region. Uh, we've got Pallet Town, which is just where we are at the moment. We've already been to Viridian City. 
Uh, and basically our job is to get around this region, catch as many Pokemon as we can, and uh, go back to Professor Oak and make him happy. So, um, th to be honest, I won't be trying to catch like loads and loads and loads of Pokemon. I'll be catching a few here and there for the team, but uh, this definitely isn't a catch em all run by any stretch of the imagination. Um, so this Hoot Hoot here, we're not going to be catching it, we're probably just going to run, honestly. Um, and I will cut, uh, cut away until we can find a Pokemon that I actually want to use on the team. Uh, so CDOT, you are not going to be that Pokemon, sorry buddy. Okay, we got Poochiena here. Um, we won't be using Poochiena, I don't know why I opened the cut there to, to get Poochiena. Okay, Bulbasaur is to level 7, I'll just bring the, the footage back for that. And we got a new move in Leech Seed. Leech Seed, I think, is a fantastic move, personally. Um, but I know a lot of people out there just don't use status moves, but you know, that's totally fine. Okay, so we found one that I'm interested in using. Uh, it's a Pan Poor. I believe that's how you pronounce it. So I'm going to use Leech Seed just to drain a little bit of its health. I don't know why I used Leech Seed again. That was a mistake. Wow, that actually did a fair bit of damage, so... Let's see where those Pokeballs are, and hopefully... Hopefully, hopefully... We'll be able to catch it. One, two, three... Yes! Okay, so we've caught our first Pokemon. Um, we got got to level eight as well, so that's pretty decent. Okay, so give Nick this name. We're gonna go. You're gonna notice a pretty similar theme here with the nicknames. Um, got a nickname Poor. And then I reckon we will advance to Viridian City and heal up. Okay, thank you Nurse Joy for healing us up. Hope to see you again. Now this other lady here normally isn't uh, in the uh, mainline Pokemon games, but this is a, a nice little, a neat little feature I think, um, where you can change Pokemon's nature in exchange for 750000 dollars $7, $7, $7, $7, $7, $7, $7, $7, are you interested? No. Um, so I'll just ch just quickly check. Uh, so yeah, we've got lonely nature as per before, and we've got a quiet nature, which is plus special attack minus speed, I believe. Which uh, I guess is is fine. What item have you got? Iron bow. We we'll just take that off you for the for now. Um, but I think this is a pretty good stopping point. We've got our first Pokemon. Um, we've done a little bit of training. Um, anyway, so thank you if you've, if you've made the video um, to this point. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.